Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to Only One Command. You know, it's that series I do every now and again. Just kidding, I do it all the time. But most of you guys like it, so that's good. Welcome back to Only One Command. That is Beautiful Sun, Minecraft Redstone series where I showcase the amazing command block creations. Those are beautiful clouds that only take one command to add to your Minecraft world. I don't know what this is. It's a world I downloaded. Today's one is short and simple. We're going to teach you how to make some cool little spheres in your Minecraft world using Only One Command. In case you know your nice map builder, you want to add some cool looking domes or spheres and you know you don't feel like busting out the circular charts and this and that. It's rather simple. This guy is by Dragon014. You can check out his channel linked in the description below while you're grabbing the command. And it is, it's it's really, it's simple enough. All you need is a command block, which is slash give at P C O M M. Press tab. No. Press tab. Yes. Press enter. Yes. Drop that one because you only need one. I don't need two, man. And they need something to power the redstone block with. Uh, I don't want this to mess up the nice hydroponic vault, so we're gonna do set block, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, stone. That way we can place our friend right here, yeah. Now paste the command into the description right here. And uh, while you're doing that, you should also leave a like rating on this video if you want to see more Only One Command. Of course, you should also subscribe to me because I'm the best human alive. I'm also handsome and very modest. Anyways, uh -oh. so click here to install more commands if you want to do that. You know, to take you to some website. You know, I don't know anything about that. So it's now installed and uh, pretty sweet. You can you can destroy it by doing that. I, I like this dragon. You're just doing your own thing with the install type, huh? This looks different from the other one. Now get sphere item, get hollow sphere item, and get cylinder item. You've got some options here, baby. Check it out. Oh my word. Okay. Now there's a few different things I need to make clear. These are the three different items you can use it to create a sphere. You can use it to create a hollow sphere, as seen here, and that uh, kind of rhymed. And create a hollow cylinder. However, there are three pieces of wool here. Now these correspond with the different shapes. We have the white wool for our cylinders. We have the orange wool for our completely filled in and not hollow spheres. And of course, we got the magenta wool for those hollow spheres goodness. Now, the way this works is wherever you place one of these down, it's going to make a sphere, a hollow sphere, or otherwise in an eight block radius. You ready for this? Check it out. Look at that. Hoi! Did you see it? We just ruined the vault, but that's okay, because look how cool. <laughs> Coolest thing. Now the wools specifically, the reason I brought them up to begin with is because they mark where certain command blocks are. Bada boom. Bada boom. So orange, I think it was orange was there. Okay. All you really need to know is you can choose the diamond, you can choose the item type, like it's diamond blocks. And you can also choose, I believe the radius, which is right here. So if you change the radius to something else, then you're gonna have a bigger and or a smaller sphere. So let's say we wanted to be a monster and let's do a nice, let's do a nice 32, nice 32 radius. Now I believe this one was for the full sphere, which is what we just did. So that's not been changed. Oh, hold on, let's change the block type too. Let's go with, what's a nice, let's go with a, a nice emerald block, a nice emerald block. So we're gonna place it down. I uh, like originally I, w I didn't want to destroy this nice hydroponic vault, but now I'm all about that life, baby. So we'll place this down. Check out what happens the moment you spawn this witch in. Uh, uh, you ready for this? Oh, I got stuck inside. <laughs> Yo, wasn't ready for that. So it makes a big old. It, I, okay, it looks like I would not recommend, would not recommend you make your sphere this big looks like it gets cut off you can see the side of the sphere here so it looks like there is in fact a limit as to how high or i should say tall it should be so let's not go with uh that much let's try let's try a nice radius of maybe 20. now one of the one of one of the uh limits for i believe the cylinders has you have it with a max radius of 12. might also be the case for the other spheres we're going to explore this right now so check it out Oi! Oh, yeah, okay. So it looks like you don't want to go too much more than 12. Otherwise, you're going to start getting nice cutoffs there. But that could be something that you want anyways. Look, like, look at this. You got a nice sphere. It's missing all its different sides there. That's fine. But I can guarantee you, the moment we switch this baby over to 12 instead of 20, shabba do shabba dee shabba dee shabba do And then what do we want to make this out of? Let's do a nice gold block we're just gonna have lots of mineral blocks all over the place now if you want to just build a sphere just in mid-air 
or anything like that, then what I'd recommend you do is use the command I did just a little bit ago to set a stone randomly, spawn the egg right on top of it, and now check this out. Look at it! Oh, it's adorbs. So with one little spawn egg, and once you install the command, obviously you can start to decorate your Minecraft world with spheres. A lot easier to do than, you know, busting it out in MC Edit, or <laughs> heaven forbid, doing it manually. All right, well, I'm done messing with item type. We're just going to keep it all standard. However, hollow spheres works a little bit differently from regular spheres. You're given two different numbers, the RM and the R. You don't need Nisa. You don't need to necessarily know what those stand for. All you really need to know is that in this case, R always needs to be larger than RM. So let's say you want to do a nice 10 size and the radius of that's going to be 10. And then the RM comes into play because that is going to be the thickness of said sphere. So I believe we can get down. Let's let's go with a nice, hmm, hmm. Let's go with a nice six. I wonder. I wonder if this will mess anything up. So we've changed those, and now we're going to do the, the hollow sphere here. So we're just going to place it. Hmm, let's actually write. Oh. Oh, I thought I was, I was like I was like maybe this isn't working because it's the height limit. No, but that's taller, so I'm dumb. Set block stone. We're gonna place down a hollow sphere, and you're gonna see what happens when that happens. So we're gonna bust it out. Check it out. So we got a nice radius of 12, and then you go inside, and check it out. It's hollow on the inside. Now, if you were to change over here the thickness, and we're just gonna change the radius to 20. I know it's gonna make it cut off at the top or what have you, but if you were to change the thickness over here to 10 it's gonna make it a little more thick so let's uh i think nice just the smallest of forests set a block here we're gonna spawn that guy in nice you get like free goodies so check it out nice that's so cool looking honestly you can see the sphere like being created in front of you there okay so if we if we bust this out we try and break it inside nice big old diamond sphere you're gonna see it is now thicker the walls are much thicker compared to the previous hollow sphere that we made. So if you want to affect thickness, change RM. If you want to affect the size in general, just change R. Final one we got here, it's the one right in the middle, is going to be for cylinders. Working in a similar matter, you've got your RM and your R. R needs to be bigger. Let's go with 14. Let's go with eight. Why not? You know what I mean? Okay. And then somewhere around here, you can also change the item type. No, not that far back, man. Let's take it easy. Take it easy. Now, it's around here somewhere where it says we got to find it. I'm trying to find it. Okay, so this is where you would change what you want the block to be. So right now it's stone. Let's do, <laughs> I, want, I, I think that's the right, I think that's the name of it. Sponge. We're going to do sponge. And now we got the hollow cylinder over here. Set a block. Bada boom. Let's see what happens. So check this out. Yo, that's crazy. It kind of looks like a Cheerio, like a nice little Cheerio, like if I was real far away. So using this simple command, you can decorate your world with some awesome geometric shapes. You don't got to worry about MC Edit. You don't got to worry about anything crazy like that. It's pretty simple stuff. Not much else to it. You know how to change the items. You know how to change the width. So thank you so much for watching this Only One Command. If you do want to see more Only One Commands on the channel, you got to drop a like on the video. Of course, subscribe to me if you're new. Big thank you once again to Xavier Dragon for making this awesome command. His channel is also going to be linked in the description. You can check him out while you are grabbing the command for your world. Hopefully this comes in handy with various builds, this and that and the other. Have a beautiful day. We will see you later.